Welcome back, guys. 7 2 victory over the Montreal Canadiens. Four straight wins for the Oilers. You gotta love this. Going back to the days of Gretzky, seven goals in a game. I can get used to this. Evander Kane comes in, scores in his very first game for the Oilers, puts the Oilers up 1 0. And when was the last time that happened? The Oilers not only scored the first goal, they scored the second goal, the third goal. So, much better start for the Oilers tonight. With the introduction of Evander Kane to the lineup, the Oilers had the opportunity to run Ryan Nugent Hopkins as the third line center, and the Oilers' third line was absolutely outstanding tonight. Zach Hyman and Ryan Nugent Hopkins look like a match made in heaven. I'm not entirely certain on Zach Cassian on that line. I think the Oilers could probably switch out another player, but right now it seems like they have a dynamic duo in Nugent Hopkins and Hyman. They were both fantastic tonight. Hyman, two goals and an assist. Ryan Nugent Hopkins gets a goal of his own. I'm going to give tonight's player of the game to Zach Hyman. Both him and Leon Dreisaitl picked up two goals tonight, but I felt Hyman was the most dominant player on the ice tonight. Kind of steals the show from Evander Kane in his premier game, but yeah, I thought Zach Hyman was excellent tonight. Have him featured here. I have to apologize. I'm in a hotel room tonight, so kind of a makeshift studio. Got some jerseys hanging on a TV. Nice ironing board here, holding up my camera. So make and do as best as I can tonight. <laughs> like I said, I'm giving Zach Hyman the player of the game tonight, but Leon Dreisaitl was also excellent, picking up a pair of goals. Was hoping someone was going to finish off the hat trick tonight, but doesn't happen. Despite the score tonight, I felt the Oilers could have been a lot more dominant. I don't want to complain too much about a 7-2 victory because that seems a little ridiculous, but... The Oilers did kind of take their foot off the gas tonight. I would have liked to see a bit more of a killer instinct. Montreal just kind of seemed dead on arrival. They scored a nice power play goal tonight, but and they had a few little flurries on Stuart Skinner, but you never really felt like Montreal was in this game at any point in time. It was just basically up to the Oilers when they were going to score and how much they were going to score. So, like I said, I would have liked to see a little bit more of a killer instinct, but... At the same time, don't want to complain too much about a 7-2 victory. Really feels to me like this four-game winning streak came super fast. All those losses, we were all down in the dumps. And just so quickly, the fortunes are reversed. Four-game winning streak. The Oilers have added a top six winger in Evander Kane. And the team just feels transformed at this point. I'm going to give tonight's play of the game to Evander Kane, scoring his first goal as an Edmonton Oiler off a beautiful tip from Evan Bouchard at the point. It's great to see Kane get that first goal out of the way right away. I think Connor McDavid and Evander Kane are still working on that chemistry, but it was a strong first game for everybody and a huge 7-2 victory. And definitely one of the bigger things tonight, all four lines picking up a goal for the Oilers. Derek Ryan adding a late one there to make it 7-2. This is depth that the Oilers haven't had in a very long time. Like I said, really exciting to see. Great overall team effort and a great team win. And just wanted to give a special mention tonight to Chris Russell. 900 NHL games. He's a warrior. He's been an amazing Edmonton Oiler. So really happy for him. Congrats on 900 games, Chris. That's all for tonight, guys. Like I said, huge 7-2 victory, four-game winning streak. Loving this right now and just hope the Oilers can keep it going. They next take on the Ottawa Senators on Monday, so great opportunity right there to turn the four-game winning streak into five, but it'll take a total of team effort, and hopefully they can keep all four lines rolling and we can keep this thing going. Thanks, as always, guys, for checking out the channel and for all your support. Let me know your thoughts on the game in the comments section below. If this is your first visit to the channel and you like what you see, please consider liking and subscribing for all the latest Oilers content. You've been watching the Oilers Fanatic. Thanks for being a fan. Have a great weekend, guys, and I'll see you soon. Take care.